In today's video, I'm going to share with you what I do to get ready for a hot date. I'm going to do penguin flaps. Hello, beautiful friends. Happy Wednesday to you. I hope you're having an awesome day. I just want you to know that you're beautiful, you're beloved, and you belong. This is my channel where we create videos for style, beauty, inspiration. Lots of relationship stuff is coming up too, as well as a series with my husband called Financial Peace University and our take on how that has transformed our lives. So if you are interested in that, make sure to consider subscribing to the channel. We're building a wonderful tribe of people who are for each other. We need each other and we're better together, as my friend Caitlin says. I believe in unity and I believe in the power of sisterhood. So I'm excited to share with you the 10 billion steps that I take to go on a hot date night with my husband. If you guys want to know what we ended up doing, please comment down below and I will let you know because I think it's important to date your spouse. I think that's one of the most loving things that you could do for your relationship is put in the time and put in the effort. The first thing I'm gonna do is shave my face. I said it. Listen. <laughs> I promise you that shaving your face is going to exfoliate your skin and take all that peach fuzz off and it's going to create a really nice canvas for your makeup and your skincare. And this will not grow your hair back darker, don't worry, okay? Ew, look at all that! <sighs> Get that mustache! You're really careful when you do it around your eyebrows because it will take your eyebrow out. So just yeah. be careful. What if I was like, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> you just have to make sure you're done using it. You clean it really well. And then you probably want to toss it out a couple of times after you use it. Um, you don't want to keep this in because the bacteria of your skin cells will corrode this and then it will make you break out. That's why they are cheap and you can buy them on Amazon and they come three in a pack. Exfoliating my skin on my body is super important, especially if I want to do a great shave. I do the Kopari exfoliant and then I shave with coconut oil. I love using men's razors. I don't know if you are with me or not, but I think they make a huge difference. My mother taught me to boil a pot of water with tea and make sure that I steam my face very cautiously so that the pores can open up and they can begin being ready for face masks. Next up, I like putting my face mask in the freezer. The cooling effect is awesome. I love doing a face mask that is going to extract any of the pores that are clogged in my skin. I have various ones that I love. I'll link them down below. One time I did a mask with my girls. A couple days later, my daughter comes into my room and she goes, Mommy, I did a face mask. And I smell her face and she's got toothpaste all over her face. She got such a bad rash. But it was cute that she was trying to be like mama and do her nightly face mask. In the meantime, I'm gonna whiten my teeth. I love having a white smile. Another mask, Louvier. Yep, this one's to restore the moisture onto the skin. You wanna do one extracting one and one moisturizing mask and then a little dance and then a little scare. I'm gonna have all of the products linked down below so you don't have to worry about me saying the product, but I love starting out with a primer and the Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. I also like to moisturize my lips and begin with a little bit of foundation. I love the stick foundation because it's just easy to apply. And then I always use a damp beauty blender. This one's from Eco Tools. It's really nice. Don't forget to blend out to your ears and your neck. It makes a big difference. I just use a little bit of concealer underneath my eyes and around my mouth. Blend it out nicely. Next, I like to contour with a really darker concealer. This one's from MAC. And I just blend it out with the Beauty Blender on the other side. The tip is to really just take your time and stifle like you were doing a piece of art. You are a work of art. You are God's work of art. So just take your time. You're going out on a date. Don't get rushed. Just 
enjoy your beauty time that you get to yourself. Next, I like to put translucent powder on top of the areas where I want to mattify and I want to make sure I don't get creases. And in the meantime, while I bake, I like to do my brows and curl my lashes. After a while is up, I just brush that translucent powder off and then do a little bit of bronzer. I, I put a little bit on top of my nose and then I do a highlighter, highlight those cheeks bit on the cupid's bow and blush blush is my life I love blush blush gives me life then I'm just gonna go with a creamy shadow no big deal today not a whole lot going on just a little spray a little blotting of that Laneige off my lips and then I get to put on this beautiful lip color I think sometimes having a bold lip is the trick when you want to go out and but you don't want to take a super long time doing your makeup I have two little girls so my makeup routines have gotten less and less um, lengthy I also do like to tight line my eyes a little bit with an eyeliner um, I just do a little bit on top in mascara my girl mascara really will transform your look if you want to go uh, big and do lashes you are more than welcome to but I like to keep it just very simple and minimal for myself and I just like to do a little bit of mascara um, I like to separate them with this little brush um, and then I popped on a very beautiful gloss on top of the lipstick and that is all my friends I put on a little bit of fragrance and I am ready to go I should do like Phoebe milk <laughs> And now it's time for the nails. I love painting my nails, especially at home. It feels so therapeutic. I start off by filing them, then doing a top coat, and then I pick what color suits my fancy. And this one is just such a great and beautiful slate blue color. I give one coat, then if I make a mistake, I just go ahead and fix it. There's no point in being upset at mistakes, so I roll with it. I like to leave my thumbs to, la to the last second because I then I can use my thumb to fix any problems I had. Then I always let each coat dry between coats because this really helps the color stay on. Then I do a top coat that's shiny and I got these fast dry drops from Zoya. Thank you Zoya for sending these over to me. And I just do that and my fingers are ready for my date. I love this color you guys. And that's all my friends, that's all. Just you know, a hundred billion steps to get ready. <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to share it with somebody you think would benefit from it, please go ahead and share it on your social media. It would be an honor. Um, our goal is to hit 10K uh, on Instagram. So I invite you into our goal and I would love for you to come over to Instagram with us. We do a lot of little live stories and post a lot of good stuff for you to have value for your day. I'll see you next week. Bye-bye. Don't flip people off. <laughs>